I moved to Hobart in 1973, so about that time when we started diving in here. Fortescue Bay from the south shore, right across into the more than the middle of the bay, where it drops into sand again, was all thick forest. So thick, it was just dark underneath. It was a different environment altogether. So there's no way you could drive a boat through it. Mick Barron's boat used to be full of tourists, eager to dive amongst Tasmania's famous giant kelp. Over the past few years, he's instead been ferrying teams of scientists who are trying to regrow those now vanished forests. This is the baby giant kelp that we're out planting today. We've collected the reproductive tissue here, we've released the spores in the lab and we've settled it onto this cotton cord, we'll tie it off onto the reef and those kelps will grow onto the reef and as the cotton cord breaks down they'll attach themselves to the rock and take off from there. 